Okay, what I have here today is a Buck Compadre Axe. This is it with the sheath as you get it. A little damp from the dew. It has a canvas micarta handle, which has considerably darkened for me using and playing with it. It's normally, you can see the lighter bit right here. That's normally the color. That's just from my hands and smoothing it out a little as I'm working with it. This thing is 12 and 3 quarter inch long and roughly a pound and a half. I'll have the stats up. It's 23 hundredths of a thick inch thick of 5160 high carbon spring steel hardened to 57 or 58 on a Rockwell scale for those that have interest there. The sheath is a nice leather sheath, well sewn and riveted with a snap and a hanging carrying ring. These will fit through the Molly straps that go through. You can fit what the belt strap through over your belt loop, hang it, tie it with 550 cord, however you like. Doesn't really get in the way. Covers that three inch cutting edge quite nicely. This thing I've been playing with quite a little bit as you can see it's got wear marks and since it is 5160 it is getting a little stained on the edge but it does cut pretty good especially for its size. Will it cut like a big axe? No. Not much cuts like a big axe except a big axe. But when you're out walking around, out looking for stuff, foraging, whatever, it's hard to beat a smaller axe with a, it's got a damn nice edge on it. It'll hold a nice edge and it cuts actually pretty good. I've seen some videos where they were bagging on it, but when you're cutting a springy piece of material without it being supported, it's going to jump around, especially if you're swinging the axe like a girl seen a few like that where they're bagging on it and it's kind of like you got to be kidding me now that I got this in my hand it's got enough weight it'll actually cut pretty good you know granted that's cottonwood but my reason for doing this will be seen in a minute as I, I found too as I get older I can probably break this over my knee uh, I found as I age and stuff like that I don't like doing that because it rather hurts and things don't heal like they used to and doing dumb stuff when I was a kid didn't help but it cuts really pretty good. Granted, like I said, that's cottonwood. This is red cedar, another not real hard wood, but it's a little more pain in the yak to cut sometimes. But you can see this cuts respectively, respectively. Now here's one that's gonna be, this is the one I like to test things on. Old hard Osage. Now a lot of the a lot of the country doesn't have this stuff, but this stuff is just unpleasant to cut with anything. It's hard. They used to make wagon wheel spokes out of it. It's called bow to arc. They make bows out of it just simply because it's a good resilient wood. They make fence posts around here that have been in the ground for oh decades, some of them up to a century. It's kind of rot resistant which you can see the outside rots, but this inside, the bugs will eat the outside, the sapwood, they leave this stuff alone. I don't know what it is, but you can even tell in this stuff, it cuts pretty decent. And you can tell how hard this is just by the sound. I'm sitting down, so I'm not getting really hard swings on this, but it's still cut through it without any problem. So I said, if you can't cut with this axe, you probably need to go back to school. Granted, a big axe would have lopped through some of this one shot, but like I said, if you're not into or needing to carry a large axe, what you're doing, if you're not planning on going out and building a cabin or whatnot, out day walking or camping for the weekend, this actually works pretty good. Most of the time, you don't really need to cut down anything monstrous. The other thing you can do Three holds, one where I was swinging, one for up work, closer, detailed work. And the bearded axe design on this, I really like. I always like bearded axes anyway, but you can come up and they got it nicely rounded where you can actually get in. And do some work. Now... Most places when you're starting a fire, in a lot of places everybody's always, fat wood this, fat wood that, okay. 
That's great, I love fatwood. Around here we have to buy it because we don't have a lot of pine trees. What we do have is what you're looking at now is red cedar. Now I'm hoping this is dry enough to do what I'm going to do. You peel it off, get a nest of it going, and just keep going. I figured out something with these axes and the froze, which will be an upcoming video on the fro and the knife. Also, I've got the set. I haven't used a lot of buck before. I've always been off into something else, but a friend of mine that runs the Greater 8 Veterans group sent me a buck knife and got me kind of turned on to them. So I started using some of their stuff, testing, whatnot. And it seems to, I tend to like it. Made in the USA, has an unlimited warranty, lifetime warranty on all their stuff. They have, I think a few, few blades that are actually made in China now, but they still have the warranty on them. But it's like 10 or 15%, most of their stuff is made here. Up on the, up in Idaho, I do believe. Kind of humid out here. Hopefully this will. That's a nice fluffy bit, so we'll add that in there. All right. The cool thing that I found out. They have a nice anvil cut out on the axes and the froze. Well, I was playing around and I looked at that. I just got to feeling around and I was like, man, that's kind of sharp. Laser cut, I do believe. But if you stick, this is new relief and fire steel, but if you stick your fire steel through there. Ah, there we go. You gotta get it in there just right. But you can see it sparking. There we go. There's fire. It's really damp and it's not wanting to burn. But you can see it'll do it. Now, in my normal fire kit, I usually carry some of this as dry. So it wouldn't really matter in this case. Or a little char cloth in there. But, I've never seen that trick done. And you can see, oops. I was gonna break anyway. That it will blow pretty good. You just gotta watch some of these edges on here because it's not a smooth cutout. So if you have a a steel that was starting to get eaten up on one side, it'll break it, but They say you can use these bits like this. If you're going to, you scrape them.
like that. Then you come in here. And light it up. This is a Buck Compadre Axe. It's kind of a nice little tool. I really kind of like it because you can get in if you're making handles or tools and you can actually choke up on it to where you can work on stuff fairly easily. And you can get quite a little bit done doing things like this. But yet, It cuts pretty good, especially for no more than its size. 